So guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new, do subscribe down below. And basically today's video is going to be a vlog. I've got loads of updates to tell you. And first off, I want to say, received this card today. My first of probably many good luck cards with exams. Yeah, that was from my mum, obviously, so she was saying good luck. I know you can do it. Loki, like, psychologically putting pressure on me because she said, I know you can do well, but hopefully I will. Also, downloaded the new PS4 map pack, and unfortunately, that's been distracting me on Black Ops 3 recently. I've also decided that I want to get a car now. I was a bit unsure whether I want to get a car or not before I go to uni. I was like, do I need one? Do I really want to get one? Is it worth the money? But I've decided you only live once. I'm young. I want to get a car for summer. I want to have a little summer this year, so... That is the plan. There are the updates. I've got a few more coming later on about my uni course and about my new revision technique. But first off, I need to go shops. So today's video is mainly going to be about C2 tips because obviously I've got the exam this Wednesday. I'm taking it. I'm going to be doing a live exam reaction and I really need to do well in it. So there'll be some good tips coming later on in this video. And the other day I was trying to advise for, for a mock test on the bus and there was this kid. Pretty nice person and she was playing music out the whole time. The same song. It was pretty annoying. But take a look and let me know what you think. But yeah, it was so annoying. Oh. But anyway, let's uh, teleport. So right now I'm on the bus. I'm gonna do a C2 paper because I don't wanna just waste time doing nothing. And I feel bad if I fail C2 because of moments like this. So yeah, came prepared as well. No, probably got ease again, but obviously I had that grade already, so what's the point of doing it? Yeah, true, true. See in a bit. Right. Nice catching up. Have to catch up again probably soon. Oh. So I got back from the shops, I got a new lens, you can probably tell right now it's on the camera and I also got a few other bits like a rain jacket but oh my days, I saw Meshack on the bus and as I always say, we all know Meshack and you literally won't believe what's happened to him, I'm going to have him featured again on the channel soon but to keep it brief right now, he didn't turn up to his AS economics exam. When will he learn? What's he doing? Who knows, but he's going to be on the channel again soon. So yeah, be be ready for that, probably this half term. But I do want to share with you some C2 tips because obviously this, the exam is this Wednesday and basically every time I've done a C2 paper or every time I've done a C2 question, I'll always get stuck and there'll be something that I forget to do or something that I can't do that I keep forgetting how to do. So essentially what I did was I created a document and it's called a C2 revision document and I was planning to read it before the exam so I thought if I tell you guys, you guys will also know the information on this and it will probably help you because it's all the small tricks that normally people miss. And in my C1 tips video, yeah, I said remember plus C, Natan said it first question. I told you about transformation of graphs, that was on there as well, so I do know some good tips. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to give you some personal tips from myself and on this list is all the stuff that I normally forget when I'm doing an exam question which leads me to get it wrong. So I'm going to read them off my phone and tell you guys and hopefully these do help you out. So first one is that you only flip inequalities if you times or divide by a negative. That's fairly standard. Um, if it's a minimum or maximum, then dy over dx equals zero. And you rarely have to double differentiate. You sometimes do, but rarely. 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle. Pi times r squared times height is the volume of a cylinder. Um, when doing any circle question, always look for triangles because often they'll ask you to find like a point on circumference or the length till the circumference or some kind of length or point. And the easiest way to do it is look to make a triangle from the center of the circle to the point where you need to go and then use Pythagoras or use Sokotoa or something like that. The equation of the circle is x minus a squared add y minus b squared equals r squared. Don't forget the squareds. I always forget that personally. And... That always makes me lose a few marks, which is quite frustrating because it's just memory. Um, to find the angles in a non-right angle triangle, you want to use the cosine rule, which is given in the formula book, or you want to use the sine rule, sine A over A equals sine B over B, or vice versa. Triangles always add up to 180 degrees, no matter what they are, no matter what they look like. If it's a triangle, yeah, it has three sides and just looks like a triangle, it will equal 180 degrees. Another one, you want to look for excess areas when integrating. So if you've integrated something and it's giving you more than the area you're after, look for a triangle to find the area of the triangle, half AB, and then um, minus that from 
the actual integral you've worked out. And my last tip is make sure for C2 that you're always aware of the context of the question because especially towards the end of the paper, it might be like, oh, water's filling up in this by centimeters cubed. So you know it's talking about volume. So if you have to write out a differential equation, you know it's gonna be over V because that's volume. So units are key in determining of what you need to do for a question, especially differentiating or integrating etc etc and this will only come up towards the end of the paper and units can give you one mark possibly two marks which can be the difference between a grey boundary so make sure you're ready for C2 guys I need to go and do a past paper I tried doing one on the bus and I said I was organised but my pen ran out if I think of any more tips in the vlog I'll let you know and yeah I'm just going to make sure that I remember the circle theorems because I think I think there's a good chance circle theorems could come up C2 is a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you I'll let you know how it goes because I'm going to do an exam reaction Oh, and I forgot to mention just then, guys, but basically, there's a cheat sheet for C2, and it has literally a summary of every single topic. Our teacher gave it to us, so I'll leave that on screen in a minute, and I'd recommend taking a screenshot of it so you do well in your exams, especially C2, since it's probably the hardest maths exam at AS. And yeah, take a look at this right now. And imagine, I also got a fidget spinner to wish me luck during my exams. You won't believe who's here. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hey Lenny, how you doing? Nice to meet you. So you wanted to do something today? Yes. What did you want to do? <laughs> did you, so you want to do a, a dab transition, that's what you said to me, yeah? Yes. Okay, so let, let's, let's, you stand, stand there. Ready, jump up and shout, teleport. Teleport! Whoa, you just done it. How did you do that? How did you do it? So uh, basically I jumped and then I went like this teleport. Have you got any advice? Yes. For C2 mathematicians for their exam this Wednesday? Yes. Do you even know what an exam is? Yes. What's that? It means you have to do hard stuff and letters. <laughs> yeah, letters. Letters. If only maths was that simple, bro. Nice work. So guys, I know I said this has been a vlog. It hasn't really been that much of a vlog. I didn't actually do a lot today, but obviously that kind of comes with exams when you kind of don't do anything interesting because you spend all your days doing boring errands and revision. And that's pretty much what happened to me this weekend because Saturday I was going to do a day in the life video and then I realised all I'd be doing is going to the library, sitting down and doing work. So that honestly wouldn't work out. I just want to say as well, if I get any C2 tips from my friends, I'll add them into this video at the end. So make sure you check the end of this video. And if it's not much longer till the end of this video from this point, then I unfortunately have not got any and everyone is probably revising at home or something like that. But let's take a look at my new revision schedule. So I'm focusing a lot more on past paper questions. So you see it's all about like reading flashcards, filling in a plan and then writing an essay. Saying that's pretty much what I'm doing for politics, economics, looking at market structures and diagrams, read my notes, plan, plan and then model paragraph. Maths is obviously just going to be past papers. But that's kind of the new approach I'm going to take with it being so close to exams. I mean... But if you did enjoy these tips, do subscribe down below. Remember to go check out the Essence of C2 sheet, which you can find halfway through the video. Probably the most helpful sheet, and I might try and leave some extra resources in the description down below. As always, guys, I'll catch you again soon. Subscribe for the C2 exam reaction that will be going out Wednesday night or Thursday. So, yeah. Oh, and also, guys, I did want to mention this. Now, I got sent this out to do a review, and it's actually really good. So, what it is, it's a handheld massager, and you turn it on like so, and you can add some deep heat. And basically, it's like a vibration, so it just, like, you can put it anywhere, it's on my leg, let's see. Really relaxing, and it's really nice on your shoulders. If you ever feel, like, tight in your shoulders, it's actually seriously good for that. So, I'll leave a link to it in, in the description if you want to go check it out. I think it's on some special offer at the moment. So, I definitely, I honestly would say, honestly, if you're looking for a massager, something to do your shoulders so that when you're writing in exams, you don't get cramp, I'd recommend this one. But yeah, as always guys, I'll catch you again soon. Peace.